So in our last video, we learned how to use the Revolve feature to create a sphere. Let's go ahead and go to Create, Document. This time, I want to use the Revolve tool to create something different. I want to create Pac-Man and hit OK. So let's start with a sketch. And this time, I want to sketch on the top face. And so once the sketch is down, go to your top view and go to your circle feature and click on your circle tool. Make sure it's coincident with the center and then click again. And this time I'm going to tell my diameter to be two inches. And next grab the line tool. Hover over the edge of your circle until you see the center light up. Click, drag, and make sure it's vertical and you're on the edge when you click again and hit escape. Now, you may recall in our last video, we only needed half of this circle to create a revolve. And so I'm going to show you a new feature in Onshape, the Trim Tool. And I'm going to trim off half of this circle. And so now we have a fully constrained semicircle. I'm going to hit Finish Sketch and go to my isometric view and zoom in a little bit. And then I'm going to select my Revolve Tool. And the first thing I need to select is my profile. And next, the axis. So select Revolve Axis and then click on the line you want. And this time I'm not going to do a full. This time I'm going to do one direction. And if I click on this little rotational arrow, I can flip the direction from side to side. I want to flip it so it's going downward and then type in an angle of 270 degrees or three quarters of a circle. And hit OK. And now you can see we have a Pac-Man. Waka, waka, waka. And so let's make it official. Let's go into our appearances panel. And let's click add face appearance. And I want to select this outer edge and tell it to be yellow. And if I don't like that exact color, I can go into my mixer and play with it a little bit until I do like it. And hit check. And let's do it again. And so you'll notice in my first face appearance, I only selected one face. If I select a face, you'll see it brings up a new tab saying face appearance too. And it says I have one face selected and I haven't chosen a color yet. I can actually select a second face as well. And now there's just two faces selected. And then I can choose the color I want. I want these two faces to be black. And hit check. And then exit out of our appearances panel. And we can change the view in our view cube to admire our work. But we are done with this shape.